back again. Welcome to day 13. We're almost halfway through. I'm so excited for us. Hey, we're going to start in child's pose today. So make your way to child's pose. Find a place where you feel comfortable. Some people like their arms out front, some arms by their sides. Whatever feels best for you as we settle in. Oh, I almost forgot to give you a high five. Here it is. And let's start it off today in child's pose. Take a few big, deep breaths like this. I love that we're again getting to spend time together, getting ourselves feeling better and better inside and out. And we're listening to music and putting a smile on our faces as well. Take one more big breath here in child's pose. Let's come up to our hands and knees from there. Staying on our hands and knees. Let's do that cat and cow movement for our spines. So inhale, lift your head, drop your belly down. Exhale, head drops, back rounds. Again, inhale, arching our backs. Exhale, round your back. A couple more times. Inhale, arching. Exhale, rounding. One more. Inhale, arching our backs. Exhale, rounding our backs. Let's come back to center and let's head to down dog from there. Just start pedaling your legs out. Bend one knee, bend your other knee. Let your calves open up one at a time like this. Start to breathe a little bit deeper. Let's get more oxygen in with those deep breaths. Keep your heels down evenly. Just a few more breaths here and down dog for us here. Good, and from here, let's come forward into our first plank. As always, maybe from your knees, lower down. Uncurl your toes, arch up as much as you like. Let's stay here for a couple breaths. Let your spine open up, your back open up. Good, let's head back into down dog from there. And one more time, let's come forward into plank. Lower down from there. Uncurl your toes, arch that back up again. And back into down dog from there. Good, from down dog, either walk or hop your feet up to your hands. Let's take a chair pose, sink low into your legs, arch your back up here in chair pose like this. We're going to do a few poses we haven't yet done, I'm excited about that. Fold it down, straighten your legs from there. Let's walk it back into down dog. And in down dog, take that right leg high up in the air. Let that left heel press down. Maybe open up that right hip. Good, and let's come into warrior one. Bring your foot up, turn that back foot down. Reach up in warrior one to start. Always up to you how low you sink in that right leg. Open it up to warrior two. Reach in your right leg. Reach your right arm back so our waist opens up in reverse triangle here. Let's come back into warrior two. Just a couple more breaths like this. Good, and sweep your hands down to the floor. Let's step that right foot back into plank lower down from there again. Arch your back up and back into down dog. Other side, take that left leg up in the air. Let that right heel press down. Awesome. And now warrior one, bring that left foot up on this side. Turn that back foot down, reach up. Warrior one to begin. 
giving you another high five here. I'm so proud of you. Warrior two next from there. Your body should really be feeling better by now. Really getting in that consistent practice really changes you. I can't wait to hear when you let me know how your practice feels. Straighten your left leg, reach that left arm way back. Reverse triangle on this side. Send me feedback anytime. I love, love, love hearing from you. It makes me so happy and inspires me to keep doing what I'm doing. Let's come back into warrior two. Last couple breaths, stay low in that left leg. And sweep your hands down to the floor. Let's just step back into down dog from there. Okay, from down dog, bring your body forward into plank. Let's come down to our forearms in forearm plank. If it ever gets too hard, just bring your knees to the floor. It's always okay. You want to know what I'm into? We can start with a blindfold. And we're heading into dolphin, which is just like down dog, except you stay on your forearms. So walk your feet a little closer toward your elbows, about halfway to your elbows if you can. So it should just look like down dog, but it's harder because you're on your forearms. And your head is off the floor if you can keep that. But a couple more strong breaths in dolphin pose here. Come down to your knees in child's pose. Let your shoulders and arms rest for a moment here. Good work with your arms there. Let's head back up to our hands and knees. Down dog with your hips back up and down dog from there. Go down dog, take that right leg up in the air. One time, bring your knee toward your nose and hold it here. Reach that leg back out. Let's come into crescent pose. Bring that foot up and lift up in crescent to start. First to make it a little harder to balance, straighten your right leg. So when you do that, it gets very unstable. Just do the best you can to balance it like that. Bend that front leg back into crescent pose from there. Bring your hands together at your heart. Bring your left tricep on your right thigh. We're twisting to the right in crescent twist here. It's easiest to look straight down. It gets harder if you look toward that sidewall or ceiling. But a few more breaths in crescent twist. Good. Release your hands to the floor. Let's step back into plank and lower down from there. Arching up when you're ready. And back into down dog after that. And that strong left side. Take that left leg up in the air. First, bring your knee to your nose and hold it here. Take that leg back out. And let's come into crescent. Bring that left foot up in crescent pose on this side here. Hustle, we need to fight. Make up to break up, don't feel so right. Now to make it harder to balance. Straighten your left leg. It should get unstable. That's what we're going for. Just to take us outside of our comfort zone a little bit. Bend that left leg again. And last, bring your hands together at your heart with me. Crescent twist to our left side. A few breaths here. Release your hands down to the floor. Good. Step back. Just go to down dog from there. And from down dog, walk your feet up to your hands. One more chair pose. Sink low, and we're gonna lift our heels up off of the floor. I love working on this balanced version of chair. 
Good. Set your heels down. Fold forward and down from there. Let's walk it back into down dog. We're coming into pigeon on our right side. So bring your right leg and shin up. Resting on that right shin. Left knee down. That left leg goes back a little. About half a minute here in pigeon on this right side. Find your starting place. Let's let that hip open up like this. Good work today. We're halfway through class already. Time flies. Just slow your breath down and relax on this first side. To come out, lift your head, straighten your arms. Let's make our way back into down dog from there. And when you're ready, let's come into the other side. Pigeon on that left side here. Find that starting place as you bring that left leg up. And again, about half a minute or so, just like this. Find your starting place and relax into this side as well. If it doesn't feel good, you can take that figure four stretch instead of pigeon. Probably should have said that on the first side. You always know you can take that instead of pigeon if you ever want it. your head straighten your arms sweep your right leg around and forward butterfly pose bring the soles of your feet together let your knees go wide apart and when you're ready we're gonna pull forward and down but I want you to find a place where you're not pulling forcefully you're just holding your body in a deep place and then you are breathing consistently and relaxing your shoulders and the muscles in your face as you start to ease your system down into this pose here. Half a minute like this. Bring our bodies up from here. Bring your knees back together. Let's roll onto our backs. Set your feet onto the floor. Arms by your side, knees pointing up. Bridge pose, lift your hips up in the air. Either interlace your hands under you for bridge or take wheel pose if you want a little deeper back bend. Bring this first back bend down and hug your legs in from there. And one more time, set your feet down again. Bridge pose, lift your hips up. Interlace your hands under you. If you want wheel, you can have your hands under your shoulders and lift up. I'm gonna take that, this second one. Beautiful. Bring it down from there. Hug your legs in again. Our next pose, you can use a strap, a belt, or a towel for this. So grab one if you've got one near you or put this on pause and grab one. 
So from here, extend your left leg out on the floor, right leg reaches straight up, and either put that belt or strap or towel around the sole of that right leg as it extends up. And just pull that right leg back toward your torso as much as you'd like as we really stretch out the back of that right leg here. Two variations from here. Bring that right hand only on that belt or strap or towel and take your right leg over to the right as much or little as you want and need. In about 15 seconds, letting the inside of that right leg really open up. Our left arm is just out, extending to the left. Good, bring that leg back up. Now just bring your left hand where your right hand was. And now the left hand takes that same leg over to the left a little or a lot. And that right arm opens out to the right. A few big breaths here. It should feel intense, but you wanna take it to a place that's deep but not intimidating and not that is too, too, too much to bear. That's it, bring that leg back to center. We're gonna switch sides. Your right leg reaches out on the floor. Left leg straight up with that belt or strap or towel. And first it's straight up with that left leg. Pull it back as much as you want. Try to keep your legs straight if you can, but if not, that's okay too. I know you will feel a stretch. Just that left hand takes the same leg over to the left. Your right arm opens out to the right here. Few breaths in this. Bring that leg back up. Switch hands so your right hand takes the same leg over to the right and your left arm opens out to the left. So you decide how far to take that leg. The feeling in all of us should be the same. There's a deep, deep opening going on, but it's not so deep that we're clenching or holding our breath. So right in that sweet spot for all of us. Good, now bring that leg back up. Release that towel or strap or belt. Let's hug our legs into our bodies. Rock a little bit from side to side for a moment here. And hold your body still. Extend your legs out on the floor. We made it to Shavasana, our final rest. Come into a position you're comfortable. We're closing our eyes together. So good. And last, let's just take a big breath in together. Hold that breath in. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Congratulations, you made it again. Now, simply relax.
from here. Just bring your hands onto your heart. You're creating a world inside your body that is strong, that has the ability to challenge itself, has the ability to open up and be soft, to be emotional. You're making a human soul that is so capable and ready to tackle anything that comes its way in life. That we practice it here. We work here and change our bodies for the better on our yoga mats together so that we go out in the world in the best of states. So I love that you practiced with me and are continuing to evolve and grow every single day. You are incredible. I love telling you that. That's the foundation of everything we do is me reminding you how incredible you are. So have a beautiful, beautiful day and I look forward to day 14 tomorrow. Namaste. How did today go for you? I felt incredible today. You know, a couple days ago I had that like that breakthrough moment after class and through class. And ever since that, me letting myself go to that lower space, I think two days ago, that, that old, old wounded side of me, and I acknowledged it and talked about it and felt it. Uh, for the last two days, I've been up. So I think earlier, early in our time, I mentioned that I, I went to a low place where I let myself feel that old wound and then the bounce back is lighter, like a helium balloon versus a regular balloon. Um, I really do think there's a correlation. And if you let yourself acknowledge something that's old, something wounded, that like now I feel the opposite. I feel like I could record 10 of these today and, and have us be, be side by side, moving actively, strongly forward. I'd love to hear what you're doing and what you're feeling and what you're going through. So you can always send me a, 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 a line. I love to hear from you and I love to respond to you. So let me know. I can't wait to do the next one and the next one and the next one and to remind you how great you are over and over again. If you can subscribe and, and just tell your friends, if you're liking this, tell your friends uh, and family that you're doing this and that you think it might be right for them. I am awful at being a self promoter. I'm working on that, uh, but I love what I do and I love that you're doing this with me. So I don't feel like I need to promote it. I just need to remind you how great that you are doing to continue. And I'm telling myself those exact same things to make these videos. I could go on and on, but have a beautiful day. Now take whatever you learned here out into the world, into your life. I'm sending you all my love and positivity and joy. Namaste.